An Alien Hand Supplementary Reader for Class 7 A Note for the Teacher The main objective of this supplementary reader is to promote, among learners, the habit of reading independently with interest, understanding and enjoyment. It seeks to enable them to read independently in the sense that they would not expect the book to be taken up page by page in the classroom. They would rather read it on their own and later share and confirm their responses and appreciation with the teacher and the peer group through discussions, questions and, wherever possible, even role play. The book contains 10 pieces. Each piece has been divided into two or three manageable sections. Each section, briefly summarized in point from without revealing crucial turns and twists of the storyline, thus sustaining readers' curiosity and interest. While reading comprehension check given at the end of sections, is a recall of what has been read and understood so far. This format is being tried to make comprehension easier and concentration keener. Each piece is also followed by a set of questions as aids to understanding and, at many places, topics for discussion in groups. All questions should be attempted orally before well-formulated answers are put down on paper. Discussion on related topics should be encouraged so that learners get an opportunity to go beyond the book and feel inspired to reach hitherto undiscovered vistas of knowledge and pleasure. The stories amply illustrated deal with themes of cooperation, compassion, respect and love for flora and fauna, sound discussion making, science fiction, peace and harmony. It is hoped that young readers will find the book enjoyable and rewarding and will feel motivated to read extensively on their own to become proficient readers in the years to come. Step-by-step -step guide for users to access e-resources linked to QR codes. The coded box placed on the top corner of every chapter is called Quick Response, that is QR code. It will help you to access e-resources such as audios, videos, multimedia, texts, etc. related to themes given in the chapter. The first QR code is to access the complete e-textbook. The subsequent QR code will help you access the relevant e-resources linked to each chapter. This will help you enhance your learning in a joyful manner. Follow the steps given below and access the e-resources through your smartphone or tablet using e -Partshala. Step 1. Install QR Code Scanner app from Play Store and open. Step 2. Get ready with QR code scanning window. Step 3. Place scanner above the QR code. Step 4. Select and click on the link. Step 5. Use available e-resources. For accessing the e-resources using e Shala on desktop or laptop, follow the steps stated below. Go to http colon slash slash e part shala dot n c e r t dot o r g dot i n slash topics dot p h p and enter the alphanumeric code given under the QR code. Download Diksha app from Google Play Store and Follow the steps given below and access the e-resources through your smartphone or tablet using Diksha. Step 1. Select preferred language. Step 2. Choose your role. 
student or teacher. Step 3. Grant access and allow app permissions. Step 4. Tap to scan the QR code. Step 5. Focus camera on the QR code in textbook. Step 6. Click to play QR code specific e-resources. For accessing the e-resources using Diksha on desktop or laptop, follow the step stated below. Go to http colon double slash diksha dot gov dot in slash ncert slash get and enter the alphanumeric code given under the QR code. Chapter 1 The Tiny Teacher Page number 1 Though very small, the ant is unbelievably intelligent and hard-working. Among the various kinds, the commonest ant is black or red. Ants live in comfortable homes called ant hills. Now, the chapter. Name the smallest insect you have ever seen and the wisest. Is it the fly? No, it isn't. Is it the mosquito? No, not the mosquito. Then it must be the worm. No, none of these. It is the ant, the commonest, the smallest, but the wisest insect. The story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. But people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. So, we know a number of facts about this tiny, hard-working and intelligent creature. An ant uses its feelers or antenna to talk to other ants by passing messages through them. Watch a row of ants moving up or down the wall. Each ant greets all the others coming from the opposite direction by touching their feelers. Page number 2 there are many kinds of ants. The commonest among them are the black or red ones. We have seen them since we were children, but haven't paid enough attention to them. Where do they live? In their comfortable homes called nests or ant hills. Each has hundreds of little rooms and passages. In some of these rooms, the queen ant lays eggs. Other are nurseries for the young ones called grubs. Workers have their reserve quarters. Page number 3 They spend most of their time searching for food. Some rooms serve as storehouses for the food. Soldiers have separate barracks. No worker has ever tried to live in a soldier's house. No soldier has ever gone out searching for food. No worker or soldier or cleaner has ever harmed a grub. So, you see, an ant's life is very peaceful. Each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with other members of the group. Comprehension Check 1. The story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. The italicized phrase means 1. Highly exaggerated 2. Too remarkable to be true 3. Not based on facts 2. Complete the following sentences. 1. An ant is the smallest, 
blank. 2. We know a number of facts about an ant's life because blank. 3. In what ways is an ant's life peaceful? 1. The queen ant has a pair of wings which she casts off before she begins to lay eggs. 2. Eggs hatch and become grubs. Grubs change into cocoons. And cocoons break to bring forth complete ants. 3. The life of an ordinary ant in the ant hill is a book which many of us seldom open. The queen is the mother of the entire population of the colony. It lives for about 15 years. Page number 4 It has a pair of wings but bites them off after its wedding flight. This flight takes place on a hot summer day. The queen leaves the nest and goes out to meet a male ant or drone high up in the air. On its return to earth, it gets rid of its wings and then does nothing but lay eggs. Eggs hatch and grub come out. Soldiers guard them. Workers feed and clean them and also carry them about daily for airing, exercise and sunshine. Two or three weeks later, grubs become cocoons and lie without food or activity for three weeks more. Then the cocoons break and perfect ants appear. Now it's time for teaching and training. New ants learn their duties from old ants as workers, soldiers, builders, cleaners, etc. After a few weeks training, the small ants are ready to go out into the big world of work. An ant hill is a home not only for ants, but also for some other creatures, beetles, lesser breeds of ants and the green fly. Why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nests? For several reasons. Some give off smell pleasant to the ants' senses. Others give sweet juices. And some are just pets or playthings like cats and dogs to human beings. Page number 5 The green fly is the ant's cow. The ants train it to give honeydew like milk with a touch of their antenna. They milk it just as we milk the cow. Have humans learned as much as ants have? Perhaps they have, but they haven't put their learning to good use. They may still learn a few things from this tiny teacher. Hard work, sense of duty and discipline, cleanliness, care for the young ones and, above all, a firm loyalty to the land where they live. Comprehension Check 1. How long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant? 2. Why do the workers ant carry the grubs about? 3. What jobs are new ants trained for? 4. Name some other creatures that live in anthills. 5. Mention three things we can learn from the tiny teacher. Give reasons for choosing these items. Exercise Discuss the following topics in groups. 1 of 1 What problems are you likely to face if you keep ants as pets? 2 of 1 when a group of bees finds nectar, it informs other bees of its location, quantity, etc. through dancing. Can you guess what ants communicate to their fellow ants by touching one other's feelers? Page number 6 2. Complete the following poem with words from the box below. Then recite the poem. Soldiers live in barracks, 
and birds in blank, much like a snake that rests in a blank, no horse is able to sleep except in a blank, and dog lives well, mind you, only in a blank, to say hi to an ant, if you will, you may have to climb on an blank. The words are hole, kennel, nests, anthill, stable. A matter of tongue. 1. In humans, the tongue is the organ of taste. It also helps in chewing, swallowing and speaking. 2. Some animals like frog and the camelons use their tongue to catch prey. The camelon's tongue is so long that it keeps it folded in the mouth, but it can flick it in and out at lightning speed. 3. The snake uses its tongue to smell. The reptile flicker its tongue in and out, each time carrying molecules from its surroundings to an organ called Jacobsen's organ in the roof of its mouth. 4. The blue whale has the largest tongue, which can weigh as much as an elephant.